If you're anything like me, you may struggle to get started with cleaning, so put this video on and let's clean it together. And trying to remain so strong, I know it's good if I'm on, I got it, I got it. So in this video I'm going to be walking through a clean with me and I'm going to be doing a bit of a voiceover for some of it but also showing you a before and after. I'm going to be showing you some techniques that I use to help me as somebody who gets very easily distracted and for somebody like me who does struggle to clean on a daily basis and just how I use this to motivate me. So the first thing I do and this is not something that everyone has to do is I film myself or if I'm not on a filming day, then I will take pictures. So I'll take pictures of a before and after. So even if you're not a YouTuber, taking pictures can be very useful because after you've done lots of cleaning, you may look at the room and you may go, where's the difference? Like, what what have I done, like physically, that's made this room better? But then when you look at before and after pictures, it can be like really shocking as to, you know, how much of a difference you have made. So I'm actually now gonna insert some really embarrassing photos, so enjoy those. They are photos of my living room and my bedroom before I did a massive clean and before I did like a whole month with on and off cleaning where I got rid of so much stuff and I like really focused on cleaning. So the befores, the very very much befores, are the ones where I couldn't even open my back door. It was so bad. Like it was to the point where I yes, couldn't open my back door. I had a pathway, had a gangway as you know as my mum used to say and I couldn't I couldn't function. So these cleans, yes, you may look at the room now and you may think, oh, well, this room isn't even, isn't even like clean. You've got so much to clean. For me, the room as it is now is actually a lot better than sort of how we started six months ago. So I'm on a journey to slowly clean my life, to slowly get to the transformation type videos that you can have when you see them on sort of the, when the decluttering people come in and they organise and they basically go from a clutter fest to, you know, this pristine Pinterest worthy room. This isn't going to be a video about a Pinterest worthy room, don't worry, because I am not going to be able to clean enough to make it Pinterest worthy, but I'm going to clean enough to make myself feel accomplished. So the first thing I'm going to go and do is I'm going to go and grab my cleaning caddy and I'm going to fill it up from my cleaning cupboard. So I'm going to take you along with me. I'm going to go and grab my cleaning caddy and I will see you next in the actual cleaning cupboard. So welcome to my cleaning cupboard. My cleaning cupboard is this tall thin cupboard here. I've got my cleaning caddy and what I've got in here at the moment is I've got a rim spray, I've got a duster, I've got a variety of like wipes and cloths. I have some bin bags because you know I'm going to find lots of things to throw away. So I'm going to add in some disposable cloths in here. So I do have a little packet of disposable cloths so they're going to go in here. I'm going to add my hoover attachments because I know I'm going to be hoovering today and I'm going to add a Dettol but I know my Dettol is in my bathroom which is this door here so I'm going to add that in a minute. So at the moment that's all I'm going to add. I've got as I said my room spray, my cloths, I'm going to grab my Dettol to put in with the cloths as well but this basket is actually really handy to take this with me to whatever space or room that I am cleaning and to set it down and to work from the caddy. It is actually a really useful tool that I use. So the first area that I'm going to be tackling is this table. It is kind of like meant to be my dining table slash like craft table. At the moment there is so much stuff on it that I want to sort everything out. I want to basically just clean the mats off and get everything looking a little bit more usable and tidy. So let's start with that. I'm thinking you were made for me. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. So 
before I show you the reveal, I actually found something in this white box, which I'm just cleaning out now, but I found something that I've been looking for for ages. And it's to do with like my laundry. And basically I have this little green space outside the back of mine. And I'm looking at it as we speak. I have a laundry line that is not one that's in the ground. It's one that is like almost freestanding. So you could have it in a flat. You could have it like, you know, outside or whatever. So I'll leave that link in the description box down below. And it is amazing. I absolutely love it. But there has been times where it's fallen over and it is because I lost these pegs, these like tent ground peg things, and they were in that white box. So I've cleaned it out and I think I'm gonna put these pegs in there. I also brought a few more because three is not always enough sometimes, so I'm gonna put the extras that are in my bedroom in this crate as well. And then I'm gonna actually have this on my windowsill by the back door so I know exactly where it is. I am actually super happy because it took me, what, 15 or 20 minutes to do that? And that is actually super amazing. I have been procrastinating doing this table and now I can actually go and grab my diamond art painting and have like a hub for it here so I can actually sit and have it laid out have all my diamond art stuff here get a comfy chair sit and do it so yeah I might even do some TikTok videos or maybe just some time lapses of me doing diamond art painting because I think they're quite therapeutic to watch actually but anyway let's move on to the next section of my clean so I'm now going to go ahead and do my next area of my flat and that is going to be this little floor space here so I'm going to show you what it looks like now it is kind of embarrassing but as I said not as embarrassing as the photos I showed at the beginning of this video so I'm gonna go and have a look and kind of I'm gonna set out a few goals for that area because this area gets messy like very quickly so yeah I'm gonna try and try and figure out a plan so one of the boxes on the floor is my vintage box so it's things that are already on my vintage shop and are ready to be posted out so so if you would like to go and purchase any of those items then i would love for you to purchase them because i want to get them out of my flat but that is the way i kind of do it so i will separate a, like a little pile of things i want to put on vintage and then when they're on vintage they go in a box that is that big box down there it's gonna be very hard to move or to replace this box because it is fairly big but in my vintage shop there's everything from makeup to clothes and to accessories and other bits so yeah please feel free to go and check that out so I've got that box I'm trying to think what I can do to make that box like I don't know it's it's really big and also there's clothes on the floor was well, clothes in baskets and on the floor so I need to kind of ideally put that like the clothes away or move them into my bedroom to put away and then maybe make that a goal for today as well so yeah I think that maybe that's the plan and then I'll have more floor space in my living room and I'll probably feel a lot better in terms of the cleanliness of everything so yeah as I did before I'm gonna speed run this and I'm going to get you to see it. Yeah, one of the things I we don't have to move so fast baby I will show you how you can catch my vibe and right away I so much time looping in the blurry lights Right, so my bit behind me in my living room is kind of clean and it is strange to see it kind of clean because it's never clean. So I have cleaned the TV unit as you would have seen because I actually switched and changed the camera angle so you could see it. And I've also kind of put the boxes in a logical order for me. So they're like storage containers rather than being just everywhere with stuff piled on top. I've kind of sorted those out. And yeah, I've just kind of tidied a little i am gonna tackle the bit that's behind the camera i think after i've sat down for like maybe 15 minutes and we had something to eat because i've had nothing to eat today and i also have chronic back pain so i am doing this through the struggles of 
being chronically you know in pain I had to sit down in between the dining table and this area so I'm gonna do the same again sit down and then come back and sort out the bit that's behind the camera and then I will probably work around the living room just to finish my sofa off clean my sofa off and then probably give the living room a hoover but I'm gonna do it in sections because I can't do it like completely so yeah I'm gonna sit down now for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and do the next section But I figured it's not on me, yeah, yeah, yeah The way you're making me shiver, your yeah. hands on myself I keep pulling the trigger, all right This very finger for people like them, oh, no, no But darling, oh, my, my, I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now I'm like a golden crown, world and high As you just saw, I have just taken out all the clothes out of my wardrobe and I decided to fold up the hanging storage organisers which I actually got from Ikea so I will leave them in the description box down below so you can actually see what they are and I think they're in the children's section but they work really really well because you can actually collapse the like bottoms of them like halfway up so you can like have more or less storage which is amazing the black boxes that I put underneath I also got from Ikea so again I'll leave the link in the description box down below but yeah I managed to get the chest of drawers in and I'm hoping this is going to give me a little bit more storage and some organisation but my plan is to eventually probably put things like vest tops in the hanging storage and some leggings and then pop it possibly like pyjamas maybe as well just to keep things uh, easy to grab in those hanging storages and then then I'll probably section out the chest of drawers. I do have a hanging bag organiser which is at the side of the chest of drawers and I got that from Sheen so I will leave that in the description box as well. And then yeah let's go ahead and try and finish and start organising my clothes. Baby 
Just like you're young again, no, don't you cry, just get back up again.